I am a movie buff, which is one of the reasons why I became a filmmaker in the first place. I don't have time to be fighting you to bed, okay? Now go to sleep. But here at Flight Test, I like to do projects that are somewhat involving my love of movies. So I had this idea to make Thor's hammer fly. So the first thing I need to figure out is how to get this thing in the air. I think the best option is to do something with a quad. I've never built a quad before, so this is outside my realm of expertise. I mean, I'm a video guy. I, I make films, so I'm gonna need a little bit of experts. So let's go talk to Matt. Hey man, what if we made Thor's hammer fly? And I take the controller, you're holding it. I throw it. And I'm like. And you fly it back to me and I can catch dude, it. Dude, awesome idea. I want to be able to hold the hammer and it look like Thor's hammer, not look like Thor's hammer with a quad coming. Okay. Do you think we could do ducks? Duck, ducks, duck. Quack, we could do that. Let's do it. Cool. All right. I will build the hammer. Okay. Once you got that figured out, pass it my way, and then I'll put electronics on it. Yep. Nice, man. What I did here is I cut out two rectangles. One is the inner rectangle, which is the top of the hammer. And then I cut out a larger rectangle and then put whatever those are, gaps, so that when it folded it together, I would be able to have those 45 degree angles. This great friendship building exercise. <laughs> what are we doing with our lives, dude? <laughs> Making foam board for hammers to fly through the air. I can't think of anything better to do uh, with my life. I, I second that, man. I think the next step is I'll make a little uh, plywood structure that sits on this groove all the way around. Yep. Cool. I'll do that on Fusion right now. Let me get a couple measurements. You said this is nine. Do you know how long this is? Nope. All right, I'll measure it. I'll measure it real quick. Cool. Find a measurement and we'll get going on Fusion. Awesome. Sweet. Hey, dude. I finished this. I don't know if you want to take it. Maybe do a nice. dry fit. See what I need to change. I can go back in. You might want to make it a little stronger. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll um, give it a whirl. I've been into building ever since I was a little kid. I've always loved it because you take something that's just an idea and you can watch it take shape in front of you. To be able to create something from your mind is a really cool experience. It's actually one of the reasons why filmmaking was so attractive to me. But part of why we do this here at Flight Test is to inspire people like you to go and do this yourself. This is a very simple build. It's a box with a couple of angles. You just take foam board, cut out your shape, put a little grooves in it, bend it, glue it, and you've got something that looks like Thor's hammer. One thing that I personally struggle with a lot is perfectionism. I know a lot of you guys struggle with it as well. I'm looking at this handle and it's not perfect. The spacing isn't perfect. This end has a big black gap here. And if I had spent more time on it, I know that I could have gotten it perfect. What's been beneficial for me is to remember that I'm doing this for fun. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just got to look cool. And this is going to look cool as it is. So if you want to put in the time and effort to make something that's absolutely perfect, feel free, go ahead and get enjoyment out of it. But that's really what this is about. It's about getting enjoyment out of the build process. I love building, I love creating, but sometimes you lose that joy because it has to be perfect. And it's been a great process for me to work on that and to be able to find the pleasure in something that isn't exact and perfect, knowing that I could still do better. I just got done talking about my perfectionism and here I am facing it again with looking at my reference photo and I made the thing wrong. On the movie version, this is beveled, this is beveled, and uh, I didn't make it that way. I, 
I don't know. It does bother me a little bit because I want to make it look like Thor's hammer, but I also don't want to make this from scratch again, and Matt's already made his insert for this size, and we'd have to be starting over. You know, I am going to enjoy the process, and I'm gonna see this as an opportunity for me to exercise my creative muscle. So I just gotta think of what I have to do to use this to my advantage. All right, we're looking pretty good. I've got my four ducks in a row. I think now we hand it off to Matt. He's gonna put some electronics in here, and we're about ready to test this. Molrendir, Mitter, Mol, Marin. Molnir, 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 Molnir. I don't know how you say it. Mjolnir. 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 While Matt's working on the quad part of the build, I have a secondary build that I have in mind. I like the abs. I like that, dude. You look good. That program you're on, crushing it. Yes, <laughs> crushing it. Jeremy, do you want to test fly this with me real quick? I do. All right, fingers crossed it doesn't freak out on us. Can we get Bob? Yeah, I was going to say, Bob, <laughs> look at Bob. He's hiding behind the trash can. hiding behind the trash can. <laughs> it, shouldn't, it shouldn't freak out, but you never know. All right. Oh, yeah, nice. dude. Plenty of power, too, dude. And boom, dude. This is going to be awesome, man. Dude, great job. Thank you, sir. Thank All you, right. sir. Let me unplug and it goes back to you, man. High five. I think we're good to go. Now, which way is front? Front's that way. That. It's a little weak. It's a little weak. Oh. Do, do it one more time. That was full throttle. That's full throttle and it just wants to drop. We're gonna have to think outside the hammer here. <laughs> hey, what about this? Tell me, tell me. No, that's not gonna work. <laughs> no, here. Okay. I mean, I'm glad it like hovered at least. But yeah. let's figure out how we can make it so I can fly this thing FPV. The only thing you can do is put in bigger motors on it. Yeah. So what are your thoughts on trying to salvage as much as possible and just rebuilding it from the ground up? So we need to take out the wood. Correct. So if you could cut the top off, that would probably be the easiest. If we were engineers trying to actually make something viable we'd be doing the same thing you never have version one be great yeah are those motors that you've got going to work these ones are the ones that are going to work they're going to work they're guaranteed going to work. they're going to work i mean if my math is good i'm actually wondering if at this point i'm gonna build this second one Failures and setbacks are challenging for anybody to deal with. It has been a journey for me learning to deal with my perfectionism. I have wrestled with depression and anxiety. And it's, it's difficult for me to talk about this. I've been learning in my process of healing and growing as a person. These challenges are opportunities to do something different, to learn something, to improve, and to enjoy that process. I am cleaning my workspace to mentally put myself in that space of a fresh start. If you're interested in learning more about my health journey and how I've been overcoming my mental illnesses as well as autoimmune diseases, I have a channel. I upload as frequently as I have time and energy. Check it out, there'll be a link down below. Right now, we're gonna build Thor's hammer and I'm gonna do better than I did last time. Oh, 
dang, that's loud. This is the perfect setup with the 5S. Going up to 5 cell is definitely what we need. Okay. See ya. Oh yeah, I'm excited. You got the power? I got the power. What do you got on here? What we did is we went to our different radials, the 2205 radials instead of the 1806. My buddy Andy helped me out actually. He had some old school Dow quad props to give us a little bit more thrust. They might not be the most efficient, but for what we're doing, I think it's gonna be perfect. We're gonna try a test flight. Now, we don't have the ducts in. We're just gonna fly it with this open, so sucking air in here and in there, but Yeah, to see if it first. at least handles the weight, you know? Let's give it a whirl. It wants to go that way. It's sucking. It's pulling up. Now, my guesstimate is there's not gonna be enough air come through there to be able to lift up, but. Sure. Just roll with it. Roll, it's gonna need a lot more air intake. Yeah. Dude. Awesome. Perfect. You want to test it? Yeah, let's give it a whirl. Yes! <laughs> Woo! Thor's hammer will fall. Oh, Alright, like... next, I'm going to make it look like Thor's hammer with some paint, then we're going to fly it. The paint's dry. We've got Thor's hammer. This turned out so awesome. Hang on. Alex got me a cape <laughs> and Matt was feeling a little left out. So I made him a Loki helmet and I've been taking my, you know, not being a perfectionist. And I actually went in and just painted by hand the green and just kind of did impressionistic painting. It was a lot of fun and it looks great. All of this is made out of foam board and this experience has been so much fun and I've been using it as an opportunity to better myself. There's been those challenges and most of those challenges are with my own perspective. So it's been really cool to use this as an opportunity to work on myself, and better myself. Before we go fly this, I do have to thank Audible who is making this content possible. They have unmatched selection of audiobooks. They also have news, comedy, all sorts of audio shows. I've been listening to a book on Audible called Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself, How to Lose Your Mind and Create a New One. And it's been instrumental for me to create new habits and help me become the kind of person that I want to be. I highly recommend it. If you want to check out Audible, you can go to audible.com slash flight test, or you can text flight test to 500 500 and either one of those will get you a free 30 days on Audible. You'll get a free audiobook to check out and you can start bettering yourself or listening to any kind of audiobook that they have on the platform. I personally love Audible. I've had an account for several months now. It's been great for those morning drives into work. Thanks to them, we get to fly a hammer. Just watch out, just watch out. There's a car. <laughs> hey Loki, what's happening bro? What's up man? We're here at Edgewater. Yeah man, it's gonna be uh, pretty sweet. I'm gonna try to fly Thor's hammer. Mm -hmm. Sir Thor? So I'm supposed to channel lightning into this to power Correct, right? yeah, you okay. channel okay. lightning. <laughs> I'm wondering if I should do a test hover line of sight or just go for it. No, I just go for it for sure. I mean, you're Loki. Just go for it. Yeah. So what's our backstory here? Like, you're, <laughs> you're my mischievous brother. We're out flying together. Is this the first time I'm getting my hammer and you're showing me how it works? Yeah. Right now we're friends. We're friends. You've just delivered me the hammer from the forge. All right, brother. All right, man. Show me how to fly my hammer. <laughs> you ready? 
fingers crossed, hopefully this works. Yep. Three, two, one. It just lost control. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, hold on. <laughs> Loki's gonna get my hammer for me. All right, so after inspecting it, picking it up, what happened is I had this little battery compartment and all we did was hot glue it. We didn't tape it or nothing. So it actually came loose. It jostled the hammer around and that's why you had that thing and it just crashed. So if we take and tape that, or if we got a hot glue gun, if we reattach that, it should fly perfect. Cool. Quick repair, go back to the forge. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're good. We got a little battle damage, it's okay. Hey, that's just weathering damage, Yeah, dude. weathering. All right, ready? Yep. Wait for my big throw. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that is awesome. All right, come back to me. Try it. Come in. Nice line. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is my tryout for the next <laughs> Thor movie, and I'm just ruining it. Uh, I felt like I was Thor calling oh, my hammer back to me. <laughs> that, was that was awesome. It, it flew pretty good. Uh, the wind definitely, since it's such a big yeah, object, I it can was see pushing it. it. A yeah. bit. Let's do round two. Let me see if I can do it a little bit faster. <laughs> Watch the power lines. There you go. This is so cool, dude. I want all the Marvel people to come out and see this thing fly. And Russo Brothers, when you're back in the Northeast Ohio area, come visit us. In fact, any filmmaker, come out and visit me. I'd love to talk shop. But, oh, this is cool. <laughs> Through the trees. Are you so proud of your hammer oh, right now? Tree. Whoa, nice flying hammer. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like your hammer. Back. Your hammer's not like the team. I told you I had a special trick on my sleeve. Oh, my hammer's running away. <laughs> you are not the one that controls it now, Thor. <laughs> Loki has the power. <laughs> <laughs> There's a thumbnail for you. Alright, I'm gonna go up and try to flip. Alright, I'm flipping. Three, two, one. <laughs> How many can you do in a row? <laughs> that is great. Flip. Flip. Oh. And I'm going to flip upside down and full throttle. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, over the water. Oh, God. Okay, I'm going to try to take it through the patio. <laughs> How can I fly a hammer through that and Alex couldn't fly that? Yeah. <laughs> and coming back to you. Alright, Jeremy, coming back. Come back to me, hammer. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that yeah, is dude. so much fun. That's awesome, man. You know, the Marvel movies has inspired me so much. Hopefully we've inspired you with this build. Go out and build something yourself. We've got tons of other videos like this where we make crazy things and we make them fly. So check them out, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.